Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss how scientists aim to turn Mars's CO2 into fuel and plastic. Scientists at the University of British Columbia have found a way to generate power on Mars in the future using thermoelectric generators. They conducted a study which shows that thermoelectric generators operating under modest temperature differences can help CO2 conversion. The findings have led them to believe that temperature differentials in different environments can help convert CO2 to different types of useful fuels and chemicals. The paper has been published in the journal Device. They are particularly intrigued by the possibility of its application in the cold environment of Mars, where CO2 is present in abundance in the red planet's atmosphere. The environment on Mars really got me interested in the long-term potential of this technology combination, said Dr. Abhishek Soni, a postdoctoral research fellow at UBC and first author of the study. This is a harsh environment where large temperature differences could be leveraged to not only generate power with thermoelectric generators, but to convert the abundant CO2 in Mars' atmosphere into useful products that could supply a colony. The researchers attached the generators to two different temperatures and found that when the difference between the two faces was at least 40 degrees Celsius, enough steady current was released to power an electrolyzer that converts CO2 to CO. On Mars, the process becomes a bit more challenging. The Martian atmosphere comprises 95% carbon dioxide. Temperatures on the red planet range from 20 degrees Celsius to minus 153 degrees Celsius. A biodome would need to be created on Mars and maintained at room temperature. Thermoelectric generators placed on the dome surface will use the difference between indoor temperatures and the frigid outside temperatures to generate power. This power can drive CO2 conversion into other carbon-based products, such as fuels and chemicals. The researchers are excited by the various possibilities this technology can lead to. This paper shows a fun way to make carbon-neutral fuels and chemicals, Professor Curtis P. Berlinguet, principal investigator at UBC, said. It can help create plastic that might be needed on Mars one day, and this technology shows one way we can make it there, he said. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.